Hey you guys, what's going on? Originally I was going to make a video about some dank memes for uh, Town of Salem, but instead I found the patch uh, notes for 2.3.2, well not exactly notes, but uh, the patch for 2.3.2, which is the end of Ranked Season 3 for Town of Salem. And uh, after looking at this and clicking everything like that, I've come to realize, wow, this sounds actually pretty awesome. So let's get right down into it. Hey townies, today we are going to announce some changes and uh, new things that will be coming to Town of Salem. This will include the end of Ring Season 3 and uh, what we have learned from the season and changes for the upcoming season, a league week of new cosmetics and an update on how the Unity port is coming along. Ring to Season 3, we will be ending Season 3 and going into off season for a short time, just a few days, starting Wednesday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. You will still have a few days to climb and try to hit your ranked goals. Season 4 will be starting not long after the end of Season 3. Season 3 of Ranked has gone about uh, how we expected. The Jester change bumped up the win rates of Eva Rolls and brought down the win rates of the town. We did see the effects that the Jailer meta had at certain tiers of play, and for those of you who don't who don't know what that is, it's you know pretty much coming out uh, day one saying, "Hey, I'm Jailer TPLO on me." Uh, let's see, and want to make a change for the season to help address this to the, to a degree. The change we plan to make that seemed to get quite a bit of support from one of our dev update posts is that the arsonist will no longer die to bodyguard or traps when they douse someone. The arso will uh, the arso has always been one of, if not the slowest, killer in the game. Due to this, we feel that time being their uh, major weakness is appropriate. Uh, this means that no protective role in the game can stop an RSO from dousing or igniting a player outside of a guardian angel removing uh, a douse off the player. We believe that this threat of being doused and not being able to uh, be protected will help prevent powerful roles from claiming early in the game, as they may be killed by the RSO. We will be keeping an eye on the actual effect that this change uh, will have on the game with ranked specifically in mind. We do not believe this change will hurt any other game mode to a serious degree. With Season 3 coming to close, you will be getting rewards based on what rank you achieved. Anyone who achieves the rank of gold or above will receive the golden doge pet. Uh, so we're going to open this in a new link, take a quick look at it. So this is what this looks like. So you're going to have that as your pet, which to me is, is kind of weird, but you know, uh, whatever. I guess people like the the gold look. I personally don't, but that's just me. Uh, here are the rewards broken up by each tier. So, uh, I'm, I'm currently gold, almost to platinum, but, uh, so here's what I'll be getting. Uh, I'll be getting something like this unless I manage to reach platinum in the next couple of days, but I'm pretty excited to have this lobby icon, even though, for whatever reason, it's kind of useless and ranked, so, uh, but among that, uh, so everybody will get merit points, they'll get, uh, three of each of the falling taunts, plus those, those rings, uh, so for bronze you get 1,000 merit points plus three of the falling taunts, 2,000 for silver, 3,000 for gold, 4,000 for platinum, uh, 5,000 for diamond, and 6,000 for master, which is a lot if you think about it. That's this is essentially like winning a ton of like I don't know like I don't know how many games you'd have to win to get 3,000, but uh, yeah. There's new cosmetics coming. All the fallen cosmetics will be released when ranked goes into off season on the 18th, which is tomorrow. We're excited to announce a new superhero girl. Sorry, not superhero girl. We're excited to announce a new superhero duo uh, has joined the town. Welcome to Salem, Star Girl, and Super Doge. So we're gonna open these uh, in new links. Uh, so here's Star Girl, which kind of I, th I think it's kind of cool how they're going off Marvel, but uh, yeah. That's that's pretty neat looking. It's gonna be interesting to see like how the uh, sprite plays, uh, not plays, but like walks around and whatnot. Uh, and then our Super Doge, uh, Star Girl, and Star Doge have decided that to be proper residents of the town of Salem, they would also need a place to call home. So they got the Hall of Salem, which is this right there. Let's let's zoom up up in that a little bit closer here. So that's that's pretty cool looking, you know. Like that's not too bad. Uh, let's get back down to normal. There we go. All right. Uh, we have also heard tales of Stargirl's and Super Doge's home city of uh, Hero City. Pretty basic. Uh, I mean, like, you know, like that, that's, that's not too bad. You know, there's a bunch of destruction over the place. It, it's it's kind of weird that there's a messed up place uh, around them, but then, like, all of a sudden, like, right there is, like, Salem. I mean, doesn't that seem kind of silly? But, you know what? Whatever. Let's zoom back out. Alright. Uh, and then nighttime, which we're not going to show. 
We will also be making more cosmetic purchasable with uh, Mara points. The Krampus, the Ward Corn Santa, and the Necromancer skins. The Royal Palace House, the Blitzen, Santa's Little Helper, and the Pet Bunny will be purchasable with Merit points. Which, that sounds pretty cool. Like, and for those of you who don't know, there's, there's two kind of points. There's uh, Golden Merit points and there's Silver Merit points. Uh, I don't know what the gold ones are called, but those are usually ones that you get from... Uh, linking your Steam account uh, to the website or vice versa. Uh, well, uh, let's see. You can also get them from like you can buy them too. You know, you can buy like a couple grand for like I think like five dollars. Uh, it's it's not a whole lot, but like you know, it's still five dollars. Uh, the game costs five dollars itself, but it's it's still pretty cool that they're making that some of these things purchasable with regular merit points. Uh, Unity port update. We've been making leaps and bounds of progress. Uh, with the Unity port is looking absolutely fantastic. The port feels much smoother. It looks much better and gives Town of Salem a much more polished feel. Look forward to another announcement in that, uh, and then about a month's time, we'll be announcing the release date. Then I have seen several people respond to our previous update post with all the screenshots from the mobile version of the port, and it has been overwhelmingly positive. If you haven't seen the new updates we are making with Unity, check out some of them below. So we're going to open up some of these uh, in different links for right now. Uh, Day Fade Night, that's that one right there. But here's what it's going to be looking like. So this is what the uh, login screen is going to be looking like, which looks really interesting if you ask me. Uh, my question is, is it going to be easier on graphics or is it going to be harder for computers to run? Like, uh, I'm running on an older computer. Uh, and I get about, like, when I'm recording, I get about, like, 10 to 15 frames per second. Uh, and even when I'm not recording, I get about 30 frames per se like, 15 to 30 frames per second. So I guess, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, here's how it's going to go from, uh, nighttime to day, which I think is pretty cool looking. But something that, like, I wonder about this is the fact that, so here comes the players out, correct? Then if you look at their pets, you know, the, the, the doge, the, uh, so special abilities button next to the target menu here you can see that the rules the special action that doesn't target anyone can only target one player is a is an clickable icon now this will show up for things like bodyguards that have a vest left arsonists who can ignite etc etc so we're going to take a quick look at this image and uh let's see i guess i don't really see oh it's probably that one right there is that is that the correct one let's see next to the targeting menu i i I don't know. Oh, right there. It's down here. Duh. All right. So, uh, so it's got like a it says revealed, and it's got like a picture of a hat for the mayor and stuff like that because we're for whatever reason they're they all got generic names. They all must be evil. Uh, but anyways, so looks like they got that. Uh, I guess that's gonna be like I don't know what that is. This looks like it's oh that's this is probably like the graveyard right here. That's that's actually pretty cool. Uh, and target I guess. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to figure this out. Uh, targeting menu. In this image, you can see how the targeting menu works. Some special menus were removed, like the jailers, and you were able to select a player during the day and select to jail them. Alright, so we're going to take a quick look at this one as well. So, I guess if you just click their name, uh, it'll just give you the option to jail or whisper them if you're a jailer. Uh, I don't know what that one means right there, but... so. I, I think it's pretty cool looking. Then you got like your your death note right here. You got your regular will. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I wish I could find more information on more about this stuff. I went down here and scrolled through everything and stuff like that. But there's there's something really more about it. I mean, like I like I said, I wish I would have found more. And like I originally came on here to find memes instead for Town of Salem, make a Town of Salem memes video. But instead, I found the update, and I'm like, hey. That's a lot better than my idea. So that's that's pretty exciting. Alright, well guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this uh, short little video with all this information here to be really interesting. I know I'm super excited for the uh, update since I've been... I heard about it a couple weeks ago and I've been super excited by it. But anyways, if you guys are excited for this update, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what What's your opinions on this game? Uh, what's your opinions on the Arso patch? I think it'll be good for Arso. And what's your opinion about the new uh, characters, new uh, Unity port update, the, the, the way that things are going to be looking? Uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day.